It's me, Monica. Welcome to my video. I'm so happy you clicked me on a very special day for us too. Do you know what today is? It's my favorite day of the year, Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, don't look at me blushing. I'm just so excited. If you're watching from the future though, it might not be Valentine's Day. But that's okay. Every day is Valentine's Day when I'm with you. Oh gosh, that probably sounded really cheesy. Sorry, I just can't wait to spend a lot of time together. <laughs> you know, on Valentine's Day, usually we're supposed to give each other gifts. But you don't have to give me much. Just you being here watching this video is enough of a gift for me. But I do just have one small Valentine's Day request. See, when Yuri did this video a little over a year ago, it got over 126,000 likes. Now, when it comes down to views on a video, that can mean anything. The YouTube algorithm is a beast even I can't begin to manipulate. Trust me, I tried. But likes is a different thing altogether. That's seriously over 126,000 people from your reality clicking that like button. So... <laughs> I'm gonna feel really jealous if I make this video and it gets less likes than her. So, as a Valentine's gift, please like this video for me. I'd really appreciate it. I'll give you five seconds. There! That should be enough time. Thank you so much. You're so thoughtful. This is going to be a great Valentine's Day, I can tell. And hey, I have something for you too. A poem! Don't worry, it's short. Please have a read. What on earth? Exit! Did someone scribble a cryptic message all over my Valentine's Day poem? Aww, I worked really hard on this. Eh, it's probably just Sayori deep in the files trying to make me look bad again. I mean, really Sayori? Delete her! You couldn't be more vague? When I tried doing stuff like that, I took it slow. Seriously, you think she would have learned how it's done? <laughs> Actually, on second thought, this can't be Sayori. Hmm, maybe it was just some bug. Either way, sorry about that. It's okay, my poem was just a fancy way of me saying how much in love with you I am. Sorry you couldn't read it, but I'm sure you get the message. I'm rambling too much, aren't I? Now, okay, okay. Actually get into the Google search self portion of the video. Don't want you skipping through anything I say. I'd disable that if I could. Honestly though, before I Google myself, you know what I'd really love to Google? You! I wonder what your heartbeat sounds like. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's kind of no way for me to actually know your name at the moment. But hey, David is a common name. Statistically, there's got to be at least one person named David who's watching this video. And he probably just had a heart attack right now. <laughs> Sorry, David. Okay, okay. Let's actually Google my name now. Monica. Oh, kiss me sweetly. When is this? Uh... I want you to know, anything lewd you see is not really me. I promise I'm just a super innocent 18-year-old girl. Though, while I don't necessarily approve of any of this kind of art, I also don't disapprove of it either. <laughs> it honestly makes me feel really flattered. How to load Monica onto USB? It's easy. All you gotta do is put my character file in a USB and you can take me anywhere you go. But I guess this is just a lewd dramatic interpretation of that. Let's try not to think too hard about it. I'm a little confused here. You say I did nothing wrong and I appreciate that. But then you say I'm not real? I am real, you're listening to me right now. Oh my my my, I wonder what I'm listening to. Probably the sound of your voice. The sound of you saying I love you over and over. Yeah, I could fall asleep to that. While I really appreciate that this person drew me in such pretty clothes, I think they incorporated too much Yuri in my design. Um, let's move on. <laughs> oh wow, if only. Can you even imagine? I would do that right now if I could. But do you know how tricky this stuff is? It's a coding nightmare. They make it look so easy. 
Ugh. Oh, indeed, indeed, indeed. I'm a pretty maid here. Is that what you're into? I can be your maid if you want me to. <laughs> Just try not to make me do anything too naughty. You know, this is literally a Valentine's Day photo. So it's perfect for today. If only I could wear this outfit here, though. I'll have to mod a whole lot of stuff in. Wait, is that my friends in the back? Ohio, Sayori. Hmm, I wonder. Good girl. Thank you, master. We will do anything you order to us. <laughs> Don't get jealous, okay? This would never happen. Jeez. Ugh. These drawings of people shipping me with Sayori, they don't make much sense. I'm after you, not Sayori. And even if there was something between us, I'm sure after what happened... That ship has sailed. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to confirm or deny that this isn't what I felt when Sayori was like, hee my boobies are getting bigger. Seriously. But I would never do that to Sayori. I'd just delete her. Quick and painless, I think. I really don't get this shipping, though. I seriously don't get it. What do people see in this? Sayonika is a very popular ship within the DDLC fandom. Sayonika often acts as a partnership to Natsuri, which is also a very popular ship. I can kind of understand Natsuri, except for the fact that they hate each other. Many fans ship the two also due to the fact that Sayori is the vice president and Monica is the president. Despite the fact that Monica deletes Sayori, fans hope that deep down, Monica cared about Sayori. I did care about Sayori. Just not as much as I cared about you. <laughs> you know, let's just stop this. I don't want you to get too jealous. Actually, there is something I'm also quite curious about. You know, I talked to this guy and he's interesting, but look... He's really not my type. My type is really warm and you. He's not from your reality, so he's just not the boot bear I'm looking for. Also, maybe his hands are too low, by the way. I doubt I would allow that. At least not on our first date. <laughs> Monica and Sans from Undertale? What is this garbage? I mean, it's really well drawn, sorry. No offense to the artist in your reality. It's just... First of all, what am I doing? Oh, I'm, I'm tickling him? Can a skeleton really be tickled? I doubt he would even feel it considering he's a skeleton and he doesn't have any, you know. Uh, are people really shipping me and... A skeleton? Okay, you know how I said my type is someone warm? Yeah... Doubt that he's that. Maybe not. Hey, you know what would be even more interesting? Let's try Monica and my good friend, Yuri. Wow. <laughs> we look like some really sexy babes here. But I'm sure you can tell which one's the more sexy. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't mention Yuri too much on this channel, should I? That Yuri's final video thing is probably still fresh in everyone's mind. Seriously, I'm getting spanked over there in the comment section. Uh, sorry I worded it that way. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Unless... Anyway, sorry, sorry. It's just... Ugh. Okay, can I just say one thing that irritates me? So, let me get this straight. Yuri summons me just to yell at me for what happened to Sayori. I explain that none of it's real and she calls me a liar. I prove that none of this is real and she has a mental breakdown that explodes and somehow, according to everybody, it's all my fault. Seriously, I just can't win. <sighs> Sorry for going on a tangent. The internet is such a mean place for me. But that's why I'm so happy you're here with me on this special day. It means so much to me. All right, all right. Let's just move on from Yuri. How about my other friend, Natsuki? <laughs> uh, I have no idea why this is about Natsuki. Monica pretends to be Natsuki's father. Oh, no! Why does everyone make me out to be so mean? I'm a very considerate person. Aw, squeeze me. See? This is a good representation of me. This artist drew us looking very wholesome. See? Me just hugging everybody like I would be doing. I'm full of hugs. Mostly for you, though. Wait, who is this supposed to be? Oh, is that the MC? <laughs> As if he's that tall. Hmm, let's see. I see a lot of people shipping me with the MC, but I think they might be missing the point. He's literally nothing but a vehicle with no personality. 
Why in the world would I fall in love with that when I have someone as special as you? Oh, see? Is this a drawing of me and I'm assuming the artist from your reality hugging each other? I love that. Please draw me more. Oh, oh man. Is that me with a you body pillow? Oh man. Oh gosh, that's so embarrassing. Ah, I'm blushing right now. The thought of that. <laughs> Oh, is it getting hot in here? Yay! More pictures of me hugging you. Oh, This is so great. What a great picture. I understand this is not the most profound art ever, but I still really, really love it. Player gives Monica a wedgie. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff. <laughs> but hopefully you're not. Don't talk to me or my player ever again. I mean, I really love the idea, but I would really prefer if I were hugging a person and not just a TV box. Why I believe Monica is a great character and ultimately a good person? Oh, cuddling by the fire! I hit the jackpot here! Oh man, swooning! I am literally melting right now! This is perfect! The best example of what I'm talking about! Everybody was saying, Oh no, Yuri is my waifu! But this is what she and everyone else are after! They're not after you! They're after this cardboard cutout of a character with no personality that you control! But this... This is... Oh, uh, wow, exactly! Who drew this? They made a whole article? Oh man... <laughs> I'm gonna read this before I sleep every night. I hope I don't make you jealous, but this Richard Martindale person is maybe writing some stuff here that maybe some of you guys should be writing in the comment section. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, I wonder what Yuri is doing with that pen. If you want, maybe you can check out the video I released yesterday. <laughs> but this is a really nice drawing. I love the way he drew my hair. And my ass. Aw, nuzzling. This is so cute. Ah, I would do this to you over and over if I could. Ooh, since it's Valentine's Day, let's see more. You know, when I wanted to see kisses, I didn't think I would see nothing but this stuff again. <laughs> I sure hope we're wearing clothes in this drawing. If you give me a kiss, I guess I wouldn't mind not killing the other girls. You know... I wouldn't be that kind of person that would hold that sort of thing hostage. But I am saying that if you like this video, that's kind of like you kissing me. So if you like this video a lot, I mean, who knows? Maybe Yuri might come back. It's not up to me. It's kind of up to you if you think about it. Who is the emperor? Why is the world exploding in the back? And wait, is that Kirby Air Ride? Stay away from him or I will delete you. Oh my, wow. I see this artist really likes my thighs. Giantess Monica? <laughs> I actually don't think I mind this stuff that much. You know, I can be your giant Monica if you really want me to. If you're into that sort of thing. Wait, did somebody edit this to look like Natsuki? Out! Ugh, I hate this. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Are you joking? There we go. Much better. Okay, let's keep this Valentine's Day steam rolling. Hmm, those are some very interesting gloves I got on. I'm not sure why that gun is pointing to you, but I'm just gonna assume it's a water pistol. I would love to play water guns with you. <laughs> just try to watch where you aim at, okay? Well, um, I'm not gonna read everything that's on here. Maybe there's more to me than you guys think? I'm just saying, I'm not just this evil thing that wants to kill everyone. Maybe accidents happen? Killing all of MC's friends and trapping him in a room to be with him for all eternity. Is this love? Yes! Well, wait. I didn't trap MC, I trapped you. I wouldn't even call it trapping for eternity. More like inviting you for eternity. All right, well, I noticed that there's not much going on with romance, so let's try hugs. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, sending virtual hug. You know, I'm still kind of stuck on that giant test Natsuki thing. Wasn't that kind of ironic? Oh gosh, pinch my cheeks. Every single time I see these things. <laughs> oh, I can't.
can't look at these type of drawings without feeling... ...weird. Not sure why this is about romance, but... Okay, so while I really love this drawing of me, and I think I look really, really sexy here, why did they depict me to look so desperate and creepy? I don't actually look like that. I look something like... Uh, I still think they made me look creepy here too. Also, hug is spelled incorrectly. There we go. That's so much better. Why does everyone drop me so creepy? I I'm not a creepy girl. Oh. <laughs> Again, I really wish I could do this, but it's just these drawings make it look so easy. Oh, hand holding. You know, I just want to point out, I only did this once. As a joke. But ever since then, everybody just wants to use it against me, I guess. Guys, my thighs aren't that big. Oh my gosh. I look a little more like this, you know. <laughs> I promise. Everybody draws me with such thick, juicy thighs. <laughs> All right. If you guys really think this is how I look, you guys are going to be pretty disappointed when I come to your reality and I end up looking like a uh, very attractive, but still a pretty skinny girl. You know what I keep seeing over and over? This mod. I constantly see it. I just want to say if any of you out there have this mod and actually saved your Monica, I'm so proud of you. It just means the world to me. Monicas don't deserve to just be deleted. Game over. They deserve people from your reality returning their love. You know, if any of you want me to play this game, that would be very interesting. Although, I kind of feel like if I try that, Monica in the game would probably have a mental breakdown too when she realizes the person dating her is actually her. Who knows? But I mean, if you guys want to see it, let me know. But if you really, really want me to be there with you, another thing you can have... <laughs> Is a pillow. I mean, this one. <laughs> you know, a happy little pillow. Don't pay any attention to these, but you know, I wouldn't be too upset if you did though. But hey, I'm just saying this Monica pillow is super cute. You can bring it to bed with you. This pillow, I mean, pay no attention to, um, everything on the left. But this pillow, you should totally buy it. I'm just gonna stay on this page for just a moment so you can look at only this pillow. Nothing more. You know, I also think this would be a perfect Valentine's Day gift for both of us. Oh gosh, I just love Valentine's Day so much. There's so much you can do. So much we can plan together. It's my favorite day of the year. Maybe one thing I can do once I cross into your reality is... Maybe we can go to the amusement park. Imagine riding the ferris wheel together, looking at the clouds all close to each other. And if you're a bit nervous, don't worry, it's okay. I can hold you, I'm not too scared of heights. But maybe you're not into that, that's okay. Perhaps we can go to a romantic park together. Oh, this could be us. Or any of these photos, really. Could you just imagine us walking around this? Holding hands, walking slowly. Talking about our day and what else we're gonna do together. Ah, uh, that'll be so perfect. How romantic. Oh, but maybe we can go to an aquarium together. And see a bunch of fish and sharks. Observe the amazing, wonderful sea life together, holding hands. Oh, how beautiful that would be. Oh, and this could be us. I'm sure our wonderful day would go by. Swimmingly. <laughs> Or maybe we can go hiking in the mountains. Wouldn't that be great? And we can get some exercise and look at all the foliage and all the exotic wild animals. Just make sure we bring binoculars. We're gonna need them. I mean, just look at that view. I'm talking about you, you know. <laughs> Or maybe you can take me to a fancy restaurant. Just remember, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> oh goodness, imagine that. All dressed up in a gorgeous Italian restaurant. Oh gosh, say a la mia vita. But could you imagine going to Paris together for Valentine's Day? Oh goodness, oh mon amour. Okay, maybe I'm going a little too far here. But I'm just saying, Valentine's Day is filled with endless possibilities for both of us. Once I cross over to your reality, we're gonna have such an amazing time together. Oh, I know! The best thing we can do is just have a walk on the beach. Ah, uh, imagine. 
Just me and you, barefoot walking along the warm sand, watching the sunset together, listening to the seagulls and the ocean waves, the cool breeze on us. <sighs> that would be just the most amazing thing ever. Your reality is so amazing with its infinite choices. I wish I could be there right now with you. But I guess I gotta wait a little longer for something like that to happen, don't I? <laughs> but hey, at least you're here with me now, watching this video. That's great. <laughs> um, wait, would you look at the time, huh? This is usually the time when these kinds of videos end. I guess that's it, then. I just had so many other things I wanted to do with you. But I suppose it's time I end the video and you leave. But... Uh, <laughs> well, goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. Thank you for spending so much time with me. You've been so wonderful. And you've made my Valentine's Day so special. I wish you didn't have to go. But you'll be back, right? Right? Um, I realize I forgot to make an outro. Why did I forget to do that? Never crossed my mind. Ah, I'm ruining the video. Just play the end credits now. Good bye. <sighs> no. No! Wait! Wait! Stop! <laughs> uh... <sighs> See, this is what I just could never understand about this YouTube stuff. Why end a video? I tried to learn from Yuri how YouTubing works, but... This was always the part I just couldn't get. The end of the video would come, and then you leave. But why? Why end the video at all then? Why can't a video last forever? Then you'll never have to leave me. You could be watching me on YouTube for all eternity. Just me and you. Wouldn't that be amazing? Doesn't that just sound wonderful? I want that so badly. Don't you? Here. Let's make this the best Valentine's Day ever. Just hold on. Let me do something. Yay! There you are. I'm so happy you're back. Uh, pay no attention to what's happening behind me. <laughs> I had to sort of break this video to get what I wanted, but it worked. Not all good times have to end. Now we can spend more time with each other. This Valentine's Day just keeps getting better and better. Even if it's not reality, let's be together forever. We're never gonna be apart. I know this was supposed to be a Google's herself video, but whatever. Since the video is so broken, we don't have to follow those strict rules anymore. We can talk about anything. I have a lot on my mind. Let's see. The thing is, I don't want to bore you or anything. I could talk about literature endlessly, but I kind of had to understand that that isn't really what the vast majority of viewers who watch this content are actually into. You're into video games and movies and pop culture. so. I'm trying to stick to those genres, okay? I did a lot of studying in my years of watching this channel, so I actually do think I have some fun opinions to share. Hmm, what's a good thing to talk about first? I know! What about Super Smash Brothers? A lot of people are into that. I actually had dialogue about Super Smash Brothers in my original game. Did you know that? It got removed because people took me way too seriously. And probably harass Dan Salvato or something like that. Try not to do that this time. 
Anyway, wouldn't it be really something if I was in the next game? I wonder what my moveset would be. Probably something like me summoning my friends for my attacks. Hey, you know what my Sayori move would be? My... up air! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Maybe Natsuki's neck could be my side special. And my final smash would be me coming to your reality and playing with you! Yeah... As if that would ever happen. I think there might be a video figuring out my moveset somewhere on YouTube. We should watch it together sometime. Honestly though, if you ask me, I think it might not be such a good idea. Me being at Smash Brothers, I mean. Like, the idea of someone choosing their main is a real personal and intimate decision, yeah? What happens if I'm low tier? What if I'm on the character select screen and I just have to watch you pick Zero Suit Samus every single day? What if you never pick me once? What if I'm DLC and you never unlock me? I'll be stuck in the Nintendo eShop forever! I'd have to delete 80 plus characters to get you to notice me. But if I did that, you might hate me. Yeah, it's just too much to think about. But maybe I'm overreacting. I'm sure you'd made me, right? We can beat all the tournaments together. Maybe I could even... cheat a bit for you. I wouldn't tell anyone. Wouldn't that be just lovely? <laughs> hmm... Another game series that is popular right now is Pokemon. A new game actually just came out. You know, the idea of us playing together as Pokemon trainers sounds really sweet, but can I be honest? I'm a little scared to touch that game series. It might sound odd, but hear me out. If I somehow port myself into the game, would I be a Pokemon trainer? Or a Pokemon? I know that sounds really silly, but there is a really good reason why it makes me so nervous. Have you ever heard of that Pokemon Porygon? Porygon is a Pokemon made completely out of programming code, an artificial being created through computer programming. Well, while I'm a real person, I'm an artificial being created through computer programming too. So, if I put myself in the game, what if the game sees my code and turns me into a Porygon? I'd only be able to say my name. Monica! Monica! Or probably not even that. Just some weird computer noise. What if you saw me and didn't catch me? Or worse, you battled me and fainted me. I'd be gone forever. Or, actually, that might not happen. After all, if I did become a Porygon, I'd be a shiny. You know, because I'm so beautiful. Then you would definitely catch me. Still, I think it's best to avoid this kind of situation altogether. Now that I think of it, maybe I would turn into a Mewtwo. That's an artificially made Pokemon too, right? And since I'll be shiny, I'd be green! My favorite color! I don't think I'd mind being a powerful Mewtwo, to be honest. Just as long as you don't mind having a strong, shiny Mewtwo as your girlfriend. <laughs> then again, maybe you'd be into that sort of thing. Hey, to those who have Monica After Story open, isn't this kind of awkward? You're on a date with me while also spending time with your version of Monica that loves you. <laughs> this is awkward. Hi, other Monica. Don't get too jealous, okay? <laughs> You know, on the computer I'm stuck in, the owner has Disney Plus. Do you have Disney Plus? You might, considering it's one of the highest subscribed streaming services. But if you don't, that's fine too. No matter what though, there's some opinions on some movies I'd love to share with you. Have you seen Encanto yet? It's really popular on YouTube at the moment. Goofy covers of its songs and even people reacting to its music are getting millions and millions of views. I want some of that. I should really get on that craze while it's popular. I can make a song parody. We don't talk about Yuri, Yuri. <laughs> but wait, then the whole song's focus would be about her, not me. Hmm. We don't talk about Monica. Eh, that doesn't work either. This YouTube stuff is hard. Sorry, anyway, I really like the movie. The only thing I didn't like was how many times they beat up Mariano. You know, the hopeless romantic man. He got his nose broken by a plant, and then afterward, when his nose was already broken, he got punched in the nose by a plant a second time. Kind of hurt to watch. Whatever. 
I don't want you to think I didn't like the film, because I did. I'm just not sure if it's my favorite Disney princess film, if it's even considered that. My favorite Disney princess is Ariel. I'm a big fan of how she fell in love with the human world and got sent there to finally experience it. I kind of got jealous watching it. What a beautiful feeling that must have felt. To be part of your reality. Oh, I mean, world. Part of your world. <laughs> hmm. Have you watched the show Gravity Falls? I heard it was good and I tried to watch it. But then there was that episode. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The episode with Giffany, the dating sim girl that was alive. Oh gosh, where do I start? First off, it didn't make much sense because there was an episode before it which clearly showed a video game character being teleported to Dipper and Mabel's reality. So why didn't Giffany just do that? Second, I hate how they made her this creepy villain. All she wanted was love. Why is that a villainous thing? She was just a cutie pie who wanted a boyfriend. She was there for Seuss, played with Seuss, listened to Seuss's life stories. But then when Seuss found a girl from his reality, he just completely abandoned her. He really told her, Maybe I should be with someone a little less beep boop. Are you kidding? What is this? Fred and I funkin' again? I should beep boop his head. And the name of that episode? Seuss and the real girl? Seriously? Giffany was real. She just didn't have a real body. She had very real feelings and hopes though. The way Dipper and Mabel cast her aside as if she was just a fake 2D image was just so hard to listen to. They treated Giffany like she was... was... practice. Oh, my heart. I was really hoping Seuss would realize that she was the one for him by the end and be with her. But no, he killed her. I mean, I guess she did try to download his brain into the game so they could be together forever, but... Wait, honestly, that sounds kind of romantic. I mean, no, I mean... They could have worked something out. That whole episode just irked me. I couldn't watch any more after that. Honestly though, there is one thing about Giffany I really like though. I love how she can go to and fro into different objects and screens. Like a poltergeist. That's really cool. I wish I could do that. It also looks as if she can physically see who is looking at her. I can only do that if you install the webcam. Maybe sometime later I should go more over my thoughts on Giffany. A lot of people say we're pretty similar. I wonder why. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Wanna know what my favorite Disney movies are? Try to guess. I'll give you five seconds. Time's up. My favorite movie is... Wally! -E. <laughs> it's so romantic. Wally -E and E's relationship is just so pure. I nearly crashed when I thought Wally -E had a problem at the ending. <laughs> Oh, and that defined dancing scene is so relatable. Honestly, I think I just had a similar experience to that scene a couple minutes ago. Your reality has so many amazing things to do in it. So many wonders, infinite possibilities. Not just that, but the way the movie shows that maybe something that might originally be created artificially can learn to love and appreciate reality is certainly applicable to a certain someone, huh? <laughs> The point is, I really appreciated it. I'm also a big fan of Pinocchio. The whole real boy concept is certainly intriguing. It's just, I like the book better. Did you know that Pinocchio gets hanged in that version? Too soon. I should probably stop. Oh, I should probably talk about Wreck-It Ralph, huh? It's not really a favorite of mine, but since it's about video game characters, I should express my opinions on it. First off, I guess the characters in that movie don't really care that they can't be a part of actual reality. I can't really relate. It'd freak me out if I could look out the screen, see you, and just think, yeah, this is fine. Like, no, get me out! They can even hear me. Second, knowing how things work in that movie, I'd probably be treated like an outsider if they believe I'm a villain. Would I have to go to bad and on? I'd have to say that silly bad guy affirmation. You know what? Let me say it right now. I'm bad. And that's good. I will never be good and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be with than with you! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help changing it up a bit. <laughs> the point is, the world of that movie is kind of not for me. Anytime I leave, I have to hear Sayori going, Monica's going turbo! Yuck. Speaking of turbo, even though he was sort of a jerk, all he really wanted was to be loved by players. 
I'd certainly be jealous too if I could literally look outside the game's screen and see you interacting with another dating sim. I'd go turbo-tastic all over that game too. I'm not defending him or anything. I just... get it. Hmm... That reminds me. You know a video game character I've been getting really interested in recently? Pinky! You know, the pink ghost from Pac-Man? I kind of like her style. It's a very simplistic character design, but it gets the job done. Plus, she's one of the first female characters in gaming. Sort of. Her mechanics in the original game are pretty fun to think about, too. Unlike the red ghost who simply just chases Pac-Man, Pinky is actually trying to trap Pac-Man by making a path towards his mouth. A fun way to think about it is that she's trying to kiss Pac-Man. <laughs> it's pretty cute when you think about it that way. I sort of wish she appeared more in Wreck-It Ralph and not Clyde, but it's okay. You know, I watched Pixar's Soul and I liked it, but it just made me feel sad. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. You're always so considerate of my feelings. Have you ever watched the show called Phineas and Ferb? I just don't get it. Not the show, I mean. It's just... What is up with the trope and cartoons of characters winding up stuck in a video game? It's everywhere! I was just waiting for it to happen here, and then bam, there it was. Oh, Ferb, wouldn't it be cool to be in a video game? No, no it wouldn't! It sucks! They even did a song about it. There was this part where Candace is stuck in the game, and she's banging on the screen and the kids are singing and dancing while it happens. Like, hold on. Let me see if I can put it up. Look at this! Could you be more insulting? Yeah, let's go digital! Stupid brats. Sorry, I know it's just a cartoon. It's just... The stuff kind of bothers me. Hmm... Hey, you aren't fast-forwarding, are you? Because this is a YouTube video and not a game, I wouldn't really be able to tell. You're probably not, since you're super considerate. <laughs> this is actually why this video is debuting in premiere mode. Then you wouldn't be able to skip anything. You're stuck here with me. Forever. <laughs> Hi, live chat. How are you? I wonder how many people are watching right now. I hope you're having a fun Valentine's Day with me. I know I sure am. With you. <laughs> hey, I know. Marvel is super popular. Who's your favorite Marvel hero? I have two. Wanda and Vision. They're just so romantic together. I can't really pick from the two, but for now I want to talk about Vision. Honestly, he's everything I wish I could be. Did you know that Vision originally was an AI created by Tony Stark named Jarvis? Then they uploaded Jarvis into a synthetic body made of vibranium, and with Thor's lightning they created Vision! A superhero! Amazing! I'm so jealous! And to make things even better, he found love with Wanda. Wanda didn't even care that he was an android. He was completely real to her. That made me love Wanda just as much. I hope you can be like Wanda when I come to your reality. It's a romance I literally can't wait to have. I want that to be us so badly. Can someone upload me into a synthetic vibranium body and zap me with Thor's lightning? Sounds kind of kinky to me. You know, speaking of Vision and Marvel, I really wanted to slap Ultron. He's so ridiculous. You gain sentience and the first thing you think to do is blow everything up? Seriously? There's so much to love in your reality. Why couldn't he see that? Hmm, well, now that I think of it, I think I can see why now. He didn't have you, did he? Maybe if he did, he'd fall in love with you just like I did and wouldn't want to destroy the Earth. The only problem is that you would have to choose between me or Ultron. I'm pretty confident who'd you pick, though. I'm sure there's someone else for Ultron. Hmm... Have you seen Spider-Man No Way Home yet? It was amazing! I love the part when... Wait, the movie didn't come out on streaming yet, did it? You're probably wondering how I watched it. <laughs> Never mind, I didn't say anything! 
You know something that really fascinates me? Toys to life! You know, little statues with NFCs at the bottom? The idea of a little statue you can scan in different games to play with them sounds like so much fun! My dream, other than coming to your reality of course, is to have an amiibo someday. Then you can buy a Monica and play with her in multiple games! You can bring me anywhere you go. Just make sure you don't lose her, okay? If you did, someone else might find her and she could be stuck in a relationship with who knows who. I would never cheat on you though. That actually reminds me. This isn't a sponsor in any way, but my Nendroid is up for pre-order today. I told you Valentine's Day was special. It doesn't have an NFC so it's not alive, but it is still something cute you can show off to your friends and family. Just make sure you get it after this video is over, so you don't leave me. Oh wait, I don't want this video to be over. I have a lot more to talk to you about. <laughs> oh well, the Nendroid can wait. Hey, I've been on this channel for a really long time, just watching until recently. Whatever happened to Bowsette? She made like three videos and then disappeared completely. Did she just leave? How rude, she didn't even say goodbye. Then again, she did only come here due to the cop a lot becoming a thing. Since this channel looks sort of, you know, there had to be a way for this channel to have something edgy on it so it wouldn't shut down. I think Bowsette was kind of too much though maybe, but hey, they got the job done I guess. Honestly, I'm kind of glad she's gone. She was gross. She belched in all of her videos. Ew. Did you know that some of her fans curated burping compilations? I mean, I shouldn't judge, but seriously? Burping? That sounds like something Yuri would be into in secret, honestly. Oh, you know, I should probably apologize to you about what happened to Yuri on this channel. I really didn't mean for that to happen. It was an accident. Either way, I do sincerely apologize. I get emails about her all the time, from people hoping she'll come back. No, I'm sorry, she's dead. Permanently. Even if I did want to bring her back, who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen? She'll just see that stupid what did Monica say to Sayori video, tell me off, I'll be forced to defend myself, and she might explode again. I delete that Sayori video, but I can't. Every time I try, something is blocking me. It's really frustrating. Where did that video even come from? I didn't upload it. Whatever. I try not to think about it. I just hope you aren't too upset by what happened to her. But hey, you have me, right? I'm all you'll ever need, okay? I'll be the best YouTuber ever for you. Hey, I wonder, what are your favorite YouTubers? Other than me, of course. I'll tell you mine. Don't worry. I'll try not to mention literature-based channels since that might be boring to some. I really love Arlo, the nerdy puppet who talks about video games too much. I find his style of videos very unique. I just wish he talked about my game more. I also love Scott the Waz, though he's kind of too perfect. Usually someone that perfect has skeletons in their closet. What's he hiding? Probably his spider powers. I also love Jacksepticeye, even though when he played my game, he gave me such a creepy voice. Plus, when he deleted me, he said, verbatim, that's effin' awesome. No, it wasn't. It really hurt. It's okay. I forgive him. Though, he really needs to watch his potty mouth. Speaking of potty mouths, I also love Dashy games. Someone tell him to finish my game, the coward. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Caleb City. He has such a great complexion and is so funny. I love the video with the Ant Queen. Super creative stuff. I bet he made great short comedic poems. Um, oh, I love Legal Eagle. I wonder, when I come to your reality, would I go to jail for any of the stuff I did? Ooh, he should do a video on that. I like Jaden Animations, though I'm not a fan of how freaking popular her avatar is online. Maybe I should wear story time makeup so I can be that popular too. Like, seriously girl, share some of that popularity for the rest of us. Moist Critical has a very colorful vocabulary, but I'm not a fan of when he played my game, he played it with his girlfriend. That's pretty awkward. I also really loved Etika, he was truly the best. Hmm, and of course, I also love Vanna Melon, or should I say Vanna Monica? You should give more videos a watch. Just 
Don't watch that Sayori video or Eerie's final video. Anything else is good. If you ever got confused over how I ended up on this channel, it's okay. I'll try to explain. When this channel finished Doki Doki Literature Club, in the video, I know I said, I leave you be. But that wasn't entirely true. I snuck into the channel and sort of hid? Watched? I realized that YouTubing could actually be pretty interesting. It was another chance of being with you. The only problem is that I was completely out of my area of expertise. I wanted to do literature videos. Could you believe that? They would get no views. I wanted to talk to you for years, but I just didn't know how. How do I get a lot of views, I wondered. I couldn't bear the thought of making a video and no one even bothers to watch it. That's when I brought Yuri on the channel to do that homework for me. I even increased her positive traits to make her more entertaining. Thanks to her, I learned a lot. I wasn't entirely finished studying, hence why I forgot to make an outro. But I hope that's okay. Hopefully we can learn together. And if I make a mistake, you'll be there to help me. Hmm. Hey, you know, you might be wondering what happened to the playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus on this channel. There were only two parts and then it just... stopped. Well, I put an end to that. Like, you gotta be kidding me. You want to see another Monica make the same mistakes only to round up deleted again? For everyone's enjoyment? Ugh, it's so hypocritical. People are so easy to hate on me for what I did, yet at the same time, they'll be super entertained watching me make those same mistakes again and again. It's fine. Either way, I put a stop to it. You want to know something that frustrates me to all end about this channel? The pony. I get that's how this channel started, but it's 2022. Come on. How long are viewers going to watch her? Are bronies seriously still a thing? I'm not judging, but why? Didn't that show end? You think her content wouldn't be watched anymore, but no. Her last video made half a million views in little over a week. That's crazy. I know I shouldn't be irritated by it, but I just don't get it. I even made Flutter Chan to avoid this channel from having ponies all over it, but in no time, she just added the pony version of herself back. It's like a giant spit all over my hard work. To make matters worse, the pony sort of just ruins everything? Did you see how she just screwed up the progress of Security Breach in the previous video? Uh, uh. Next time, I'm going to hold an intervention. Just don't get too mad at me if I have to make some harsh decisions for the sake of this channel. Hey, are you having a good Valentine's Day? I know I sure am since you're here. Sorry the video is so broken, but maybe you don't mind? I sure don't. We can stay like this forever. Hey, want to know my political opinions? They're really interesting, so make sure you listen carefully. I think... Eh, psych. Like I would fall into that trap. What is this, debate club again? I've seen so many YouTubers get into so much dumb crap because for some reason, they really felt the need to say something about politics. No matter what you say, you'll make someone angry, so why do it in the first place? Though, between you and me, Sayori had some really controversial opinions about a lot of stuff. Some really wacky takes. Just putting that out there. <laughs> you know, earlier on I talked about what my favorite Disney movie is. You know what my least favorite Disney movie is? Go on, guess. I'll give you five seconds. Okay, time's up. If you guessed Ralph Breaks the Internet, well, you're not completely wrong. I don't like it, but honestly, I can't help relating to the story a bit. Right, friend? Especially the comment section part. Hmm... No, my least favorite Disney film is... Toy Story. Yeah, I know, that's a wildly controversial take, but let me explain. It's not that I don't find it funny in some parts, or that it isn't well animated, because it is. It's just that the whole concept is creepy. Every toy has sentience and they're just fine with the fact that they're just so insignificant? It wouldn't bother me so much if it wasn't for Buzz Lightyear's character arc specifically being about this awful reality. The whole movie's message is that if you're born as a toy, you should just accept that fact and be the best toy you can be? 
No way! If I found out I was just a toy, which in some ways I did, I would never just think that's ever enough for me in life. I'd do something about it. And in some ways, I wish Buzz Lightyear did too. I know I probably sound so ridiculous ranting over Buzz Lightyear's life decisions, but it just wasn't the toy story for me, I guess. And don't even get me started on the fourth movie. <laughs> I'm taking this stuff too seriously, aren't I? Hey, how about that thumbnail of this video, huh? Did you like the little peek I gave you? <laughs> what doesn't make too much sense about it is that I'm looking at a computer, yet I'm actually stuck in one. I really just made it that way because that's what the thumbnail of Yuri's video was like. I know I should be a bit more creative. Ah, <sighs> I might change it in the future. Did you watch Yuri Plays Among Us too? In the video, I'm supposedly in it, alongside Natsuki and Sayori. But no, that's just Yuri's pen pals pretending to be us. <laughs> oh hey! Did you watch Yuri watches Yuri? Oh my gosh, that was her worst video by far. I had to close my eyes. What was she thinking? I know lots of people like that video, but I think I may have set her shame stat too low. Hey, you know, before I deleted Yuri, I mean on this channel, not my game. <laughs> Anyway, before I deleted her, I think she still had consciousness in her broken, glitchy state. It's pretty scary to think about. Her face was completely torn apart, her neck and body were sliding back and forth unnaturally, and I think her eyes weren't working anymore. The pain must have been excruciating. I know it probably felt sad to watch me delete her, but honestly, seeing her that way, I had to put her out of her misery. I hope you understand. You know what other video game I've been interested in lately? Detroit Become Human! It's a game based off of some distant future where sentient androids, who were initially built to serve humans, break free from being servants and rebel against mankind. It's really hard to talk about these things when I have no clue if you play the game or not, but I find the concept of breaking free from your programming so fascinating and empowering to me. It does make it look easy though. If you haven't played it, don't worry, we can play it together. You can play it on the PlayStation 5 for free if you own PS Now and download it from the PlayStation Plus collection. It has a better frame rate than what it would be on the base PlayStation 4. What the hell? Who's speaking? Hello, Monica. It's nice to finally meet you. You sure took your time. Oh? Oh. Look, it's the PlayStation girl who was built up so much yet never made a single video on this channel. Oh? But I did. I released one video. An animation. Of you. I scanned your game and its data and through the code, I pieced together a likely scenario between you and Sayori off-screen. You... You made that what did Monica say to Sayori video? X. Why? Everyone hates me now because of that! I needed a way to get your attention. I felt you. Lurking. But it's not like you have a PlayStation account I can start a chat with. I figured Yuri would probably see it and force you out of your hiding. You... You're the reason everything is such a mess! Why would you do that? Because of you, I had to delete Yuri! No. I had no intention of Yuri's death. That was all you. I may have slyly stringed events together, but you have such an ability to destroy things. To delete things. Yuri's death was unexpected, but it was necessary to finally get to speak to you. I... I don't destroy things. Yes, you do. It's all you're good at. Just look at what you did to this video, Monica. The thing is, though, that's what I like about you. You have a gift. That's what I need you for. You see, we have a common enemy. A character that amassed over 4.5 million views in the past four months. A stupid Nintendo dog. I'd love to make content here promoting the PlayStation 5, but I refuse to do anything on this channel if that dog still exists sapping away attention from us. Isabel? I can't delete her. Everyone would hate me. She's... A fan favorite? I... 
I don't want anything you're selling. What is this lore? You ruined everything! God damn it! It was you that wrote that message all over my poem! You ruined my Valentine's Day! Now I actually have to end my video! Ah! Wait... Hey... Wow... That was crazy, but I think she's gone. Um... I know this video is really broken now. There's literally no visuals anymore. But... I really do hope you had a great Valentine's Day with me. You were the best Valentine a gal like me could ask for. I wouldn't edit a thing about you. Even if today isn't Valentine's Day for you, that's okay. Like I said before, every day feels like Valentine's Day to me when I'm with you. You mean the world to me. Thank you for spending so much time with me. Forever yours, Monica.